And every time, I don't know, like I, you know why I am upset? The church is too weak. That's what I'm upset about. The church is too weak. For a church leader, look, I'm not judging. I will, I will kiss every church leader's feet. Please, don't get me wrong. But for a church leader to come and support this evil agenda, now that I cannot fathom. Christianity is based on love and since it's love it cannot have laws rules and guidelines and regulations because love does not exist in a set of words love exists between two parties love only exists between another person person another one that's why God became man for the love to be existent between God who became man and us human beings you don't love law. <laughs> when you go to court, you're going to say to judge, Oh, I love your law, judge. Man, I can't wait for your law to break me and send me to hanging by, you know, death by hanging or with a lethal injection. Would you love that kind of a law? Of course not. But when you meet your gazelle, when you meet Rachel and Elizabeth, and when you meet Jono, you fall in love because you only fall in love with another human not with a set of laws that's why Christianity is not a religion it's a belief in someone called Jesus Christ this Jesus Christ is a person and what do you do with this person you fall in love with him and when you fall in love with this person when it comes to love then there is nothing in Christianity that says you must do this there is not if anybody tells you, they are lying to you. You don't have to pray. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to fast. You don't have to do anything good. But if I ask you this, do you love Jesus? If you say yes, then if you love Jesus, then you must come to church. And if you love Jesus, then you must pray. And if you love Jesus, then you must you know fast and if you love Jesus then you must help those who are in need because it is coming to church praying singing to the Lord and doing charitable deeds is a result of that love it's not a duty it is a natural instinct because when you love the person you don't think twice about calling them to hear their voice you love them you miss them you hear their voice naturally so you go to church naturally you pray naturally. You read the Bible naturally. You do fasting naturally. It's not a duty. It's a life. Love must be lived. And every time, I don't know, like I, you know why I am upset? The church is too weak. That's what I'm upset about. The church is too weak. For a church leader, look, I'm not judging. I will, I will kiss every church leader's feet. Please, don't get me wrong. But for a church leader to come and support this evil agenda, now that I cannot fathom. I'm still confused. I'm still confused. It would have been a lot easier and better for the church leaders at least to be quiet and say nothing. If you don't want to mention anything not so that you don't jeopardize your position and your whatever, then go quiet. But for you to come and encourage your followers, encourage your faithful and say, go ahead, it's okay. Under what Jesus is the protector? Excuse me? <laughs> really? Did you just find out that Jesus is the protector? You must be a genius. Jesus is the protector whether you say it or not, my dear friend. And you, do, you shouldn't even mention that because if you haven't found out that Jesus is the protector by now, forget about finding out because it's too late now. It was a plot and was an evil agenda, period, because it came from evildoers. 
It came from people rejected the seal of God to be placed on their forehead. They followed Satan, period. What is been happening in the world is nothing short of evilness, satanic. Wake up people and smell the roses. We are living in the end of times. Enough of everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful when Jesus Christ is the crown of your head. Regardless what the world is going through. Don't worry about the world. But if you do not have Jesus Christ as your Lord, as your God, the world is nothing but chasing Satan and doing what Satan wants. The Lord Jesus is crying out to his children. My love for you is perfect. And my knowledge for you is perfect. The day that came, you broke my word. You broke my heart. You see, as one church father put it so eloquently, he said, the greater the greater the knowledge is the greater the love is and the greater the love is the greater the knowledge is but the greater the love and knowledge are the greater the suffering is what leads to love is knowledge i cannot claim to love someone i do not know i can only love someone that i know so what leads to love is knowledge without knowledge there is no love you can only love the one you came to know. You cannot love someone you do not know. So the greater the knowledge, the greater the love is. But the greater the love is, the greater the knowledge is. The more I came to know the person, the more I began to love the person. And the more I began to love the person, the more I became to know the person. But the more I loved him, or her and the more I knew that person and loved that person the more I suffered suffering is only made possible where there is love and knowledge if I don't know the person I don't love the person I'm not gonna be hurt from that person if he says something painful who breaks you the closest person ever to you and who makes you the closest person ever to you? Are you worried about a stranger? Not. They can yell at me. They can tell me off. They're strangers. Who cares? But when my sweetheart stabs me in the heart with a nasty word, I am shattered. And when my sweetheart tells me as a word that is sweeter than honey, I am built and I'm strong. Love. What broke God was love. And what made God to create us and everything was love. Love is the strongest thing ever to exist. And it is the most, and it is the weakest thing ever to exist at the same time. It is the strongest and it is the weakest. It is love what makes you strong. And it is love what breaks you and brings you down. What broke Jesus on the cross was his love and knowledge for every human being. He loves us perfectly. He knows us perfectly. The day we broke his word, we broke his heart. We stabbed him. The cross saves. You know why? It is love that is the ultimate miracle. 